This instructional video will take you through what to expect step-by-step -step during completion of the housing application. From your Bearcats portal, you already clicked the Apply for Housing button and you will land on this login page. You will click the Login button and use your UC credentials to gain access to the application. Follow the prompts to complete the DUO two-step authorization process. On the Term Selector page, select the academic year for which you wish to apply and select Apply. You will land on the Welcome page where you'll get some general information about university housing and a brief overview as to what to expect during each part of the application process. Select the red Start Application button. The next page you will see will be the Returning Resident Interest Form, also referred to as the Intent to Renew Form. This page provides an overview of the renewal process. To submit your intent to renew, click the red Select Term button for the applicable term, then click Save and Continue. You will see a confirmation on the next screen indicating you have been added to the waitlist Returning Resident Interest Form. Following the Intent to Renew period, if you are selected to submit an application, you will be able to access the following steps in this video. Students not selected to apply will remain on the waitlist until offered. On the term selector page, select the academic year 2024 to 2025 and click Apply. You will land on the welcome page where you'll get some general information about university housing and a brief overview as to what to expect during each part of the application process. Select the red Start Application button. On the Personal Details page, you'll see all of your personal details that have been imported into the housing system. This information is for review and confirmation only. If there are mistakes or if information needs to be updated, you'll use the Catalyst link to go to your Catalyst portal and make those changes. At the bottom of the page, You'll have the option to enter a cell phone number if you would like to receive important text messages from University Housing in the future. Select Save and Continue. Next is your Emergency Contacts. This page, again, the top half, is just for verification purposes and edits can be made via the Catalyst portal. The bottom half is your missing person's contact. This may be the same or a different person than your emergency contact. Once updated or verified, select Save and Continue. Next, you'll land on the Special Accommodations page. Using the Dropbox, you'll indicate whether you have a qualifying condition under the Americans with Disabilities Act that will make you eligible for a special housing accommodation. There's also a link here if you would like to get more information about accessibility resources available within the University of Cincinnati. Click Save and Continue once you've answered the prompts. All students registered for six or more credit hours must comply with the immunization and health screening requirements for the university. 
This is a simple list of those requirements and a link to health services for more details and also information on how to submit your immunization records. Select Save and Continue. Next is the Housing Agreement and Terms and Conditions page. This page contains a lot of important information. Carefully read the terms and conditions of the housing agreement. To accept the terms and conditions, you will electronically sign by adding your M number. Type the letter M plus the eight numbers following. You will also receive an email of the terms and conditions upon completion. Select Submit. If you are required to pay a housing application fee, this page will automatically be a part of your application process. If you're not required to pay the fee, you will not see it within your process. The $150 application fee is non-refundable. When you land on this page, please pay special attention to the announcement note in yellow. You should not proceed unless you have your payment details ready such as the bank account information or credit card details that you will be using. Again, you should not proceed by using the Save and Continue button unless you have your payment details in hand. Otherwise, you may force your application to be timed out, which will require a manual reset by calling the housing office. When you are ready to pay, you can select Pay Now and you will be prompted to enter your payment details. 